All right, hello grade eights. Here's a video to go with this week's assignment. Week number, what are we? Week number five? Wow. And for those of you who joined the, me in the meeting earlier today and I failed to get my, my um, webcam capturing what I wanted to capture, I said I would make this video. So here we are. So this goes along with a handout that's titled Convex and Concave Lenses. And so I'm just gonna move over here to the side where I have my ray box and my lenses. Yeah. So the first demo is our convex lens. So this would be our convex lens. In fact, this is called a double convex lens or a biconvex lens. Both sides are sticking out and curving out. So that's our convex. Hmm, interesting. This one's plastic, but we can certainly have a glass one. And here I have a glass one. And you're like, how? How is this convex? Well, if I stand it on the edge, it is just ever so slightly bulging out. The angle is not as great as my little plastic one over here. Now, just a reminder that these being made of plastic means that when light travels through this piece of plastic being a different medium, then the light is going to, oh, 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 look at that, light's gonna bend. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And in fact, the light bends this way. Hmm. Now, of course, you're going to draw that out on your handout, All right? This handout, uh-huh. So I have five light rays coming in and then refracting through this convex lens. And hmm, what's the word here? Is the word converge or is the word diverge? Yep, I heard you. The word is converge. In fact, all five ray beams are converging into that little point right there. Oh, oh that focal point. Nice. Huh. I wonder when this might be useful. Can you imagine how that might be useful? I'll let you think about that. When might we want all the light to come together like that? Hmm, I don't want to give any answers away. Next, number two says, hold the convex lens in front of some text. What does the image look like? Bigger, smaller? All right, let me see. Where's my, okay, so without the lens, with the lens. I think it looks bigger. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Huh. And again, when might that be useful, hey? So definitely our convex lens in front of some text, it's bigger. Um, it was still upright. Let me hold this other one to see if it makes a difference as well. Yeah. Oh, this one's not so great. Blurry. Do we ever get the opportunity to see something upside down? Oh, now you see my cute couch. Uh, is it upside down? No, wait, no. I think it has to be quite far away for us to get an upside down image. No, nope. for the sake of our focal lengths here. Mm. No, okay. So we'll just say right side up. Right side up, but definitely bigger. Okay, so that was cool, our convex lens. Moving on, moving on is when I realized I had a typo. Our right, next one is a concave lens. And in fact, a biconcave lens because it's caved in on both sides. So let me just see where my concave lens would be. Oh. Here it is. Here's my concave lens and concave on both sides. And again, being made of plastic, light's going to oh, travel through, but bend a little bit. That's so cool, the bend light. All right. 
Let's see if I can. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's dramatic enough, I think. So here's our five ray be uh, beams of light traveling through our concave lens. And what would you say is the word? Is the word converge or is the word diverge? Mm-hmm, yep, that's right. The light rays are diverging, that's right. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a great, wonderful concave lens. Um, let's see, but see if that works a little bit. Okay, and yeah, it definitely does make the image, the print, smaller. Oof, yikes, I think I just confused my phone quite a bit. My phone is, yeah, going, what's so blurry? <laughs> and so to answer this part, the image is smaller and is still upright for what we're doing. Um, slowly move the lens towards you, away from the text. How does the image change? Hmm. Blurry. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not seeing a difference here. No, I don't think I'm. I'm seeing a difference here. No difference is how I'm going to answer that one. Question number five. What is the main difference between images formed by the two lenses? Oh, bigger, smaller. Yeah. So you summarize that in terms of size. And question number six, which one would be best used for magnifying glass? Oh, I'm not giving that one away. You're gonna have to answer that one. <laughs> Good. So that was the handout labeled concave and convex lenses. And just one more time, there they were. Oh, you're right. I heard you. I heard you. I think I heard some of you say, what if you put the both of them together? Good one. Good one. I, I didn't put that on my handout, but we can certainly play. See, this is what happens when we just play. Hey, okay, let me just put one there. That one makes the light converge. This one makes the light die. Oh, can they cancel out? Can they possibly just sort of cancel out each other? Sort of. Neat. <laughs> Maybe I can get it like to <laughs> ah. Sort of, sort of canceling out. Nice. Huh. I wonder if I can get my glasses. I wonder what my glasses would do with this. All right, lens. Well, no, I don't think my glasses are. <laughs> no, not gonna do it. All right, grade eights, I hope this little video helps you out with this, with our 5.3 concave and convex lenses. And may I also remind you of the other handout for the week, which is the I Spy, looking at things all around us that are incorporating mirrors and lenses. And then finally, that optional challenge. Please, 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 I wanna, I wanna be able to see some of your work. That would be so cool. And I'm gonna make that challenge myself too. I, I really want to build one of these. I'll see what I can find. Um, for the first optional challenge, it's going to need a magnifying glass. And the second optional challenge needs um, um, the lens from a laser pointer. So I'll see what I can find when I eventually get into a, a dollar store one day. Yeah. And one more thing while I have my camera on here. Oh yeah, here we are. So this is our team 
and this is our grade eight team. So just a reminder to check the teams every once in a while. You know that my assignments come out at the beginning of the week. And if you've forgotten what the assignments are or trying to find them, right? Click up here in the tab under assignments. And also don't forget there's a tab up here uh, where you can find our class notebook, right? So if you click into our class notebook, look at this arrow. And with that arrow, look for chapter five is where we're at, chapter five. And so all the handouts are here too. So for example, the I spy, the lens handout, and as well as the textbook, if you don't have a copy of the textbook at home. All right, yeah. It was very good to show you my computer, my lens, and my little couch today. All right, until next time, have a good day.